Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Heavy Metal Music Theory. Thank you for tuning in. As always, I appreciate it. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment. Remember, it's all free. If you're here, let's have some fun, okay? Today we're looking at the song Heritage by Opeth. Now, Opeth is known for their death metal style, but... In the late 2000s, they came out with an album that was more of a fusion-y effort than anything else. And the first song on the album was called Heritage, and it's strictly piano and some stand-up bass. Beautiful song on piano. No, no lyrics at all. It's a phenomenal piece, okay? So we're essentially, and I'll put this up on the screen for you, we're essentially in the key of F minor. All right? Now, F minor is the relative minor of A flat major. So, if you know the key of A flat major, you just go to the sixth note, right? And you get to your F, and you replay those notes from F, and you get F sharp, or I'm sorry, F minor. Too many damn letters here. All right, we're in the key of F minor. We're starting off with an F minor with an A flat in the bass. All right, now the A flat is in the chord. It is the minor third. All right, then it goes to a C chord. Now the C chord is the five chord in the key of F minor. Then it goes to the six chord. I'm sorry, there we go. D flat major, that's the six in F minor. It goes back to the C, which is the five. And then it resu re uh, resumes back to the one chord, F minor. God, I can't talk today, guys, I'm sorry. After that, we then throw in what's called a D diminished. Now this chord doesn't belong to either A flat major or F minor, but it, it is very close in structure to the sixth chord, which is D flat major, all right? So D flat major is D flat, F, A flat, all right? And all we're doing we're gonna keep the F and the A flat that we have up here. We're just gonna move the D flat to a D, and we get that. That's your D diminished chord, all right? Now, I think it's a really cool transition because the A flat is going to resolve to the G of the next chord, and the F is gonna to resolve to the E, and then you're just ending on ending on the C. The next chord is the C chord, which is the five chord. So you end up with this transition of F minor to D diminished to C major. So it's a little bit of a segue chord between the two, gives it a jazzy vibe, a little bit of a chromatic movement because like I said, you have the A flat resolving to the G of the, of the C and then you have the F which is the third of that diminished chord resolving down to the E. So you have a you have a nice little resolution half step thing there. Then after your C chord, we're back up to the D flat major of the six, back to the C, and then finally back to the F minor. And that's pretty much it for this song. Really cool song on piano. Like I said, there's some walking bass in the background. That's all I got for you guys. Check it out if you haven't heard it. Leave me some comments below about uh, other songs you'd like to hear and we'll go from there thanks for watching take care